Many people use Photoshop to design websites. However, on larger websites, when you have more than just a couple of PSDs, uh, sometimes it's pretty inefficient if, let's say, you have 15 PSDs uh, for the, the different pages and the client wants to make a change in the header or a couple of changes in the footer. So what do you do? You make this change on the home page and then you replicate that and make this change on every single subsequent PSD. I mean, for example, I'm gonna take this uh, uh, client's website for example. So this is the updated version where we have added an Asian tab to here. We changed that from the play button to, uh, to saying YouTube and we also change this. So these things, I would say give or take, maybe five minutes to do on each PSD. There's around eight or 10 PSDs. So that's easily 20, 30 minutes. Or what we can do is this. Uh, see the side sticky right here? Right click, replace contents, sticky, bam. Header, replace contents, replace it with the header, Bam, and that was it. Took uh, a couple seconds. So that's a lot easier than going into each of the, those PSDs and, and messing with it. And same with the footer over here. The, uh, they wanted to zoom out on the map, so uh, we did that and I can replace the footer. Bam. So it, it, it's that simple. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, close out of these PSDs because these are actual project but I want to start off with this so you can get an idea of of, um, of of how it's utilized on a full website so now I'm going to close out of these and then create a new um, PSD and then I'll, I'll explain to you how to uh, export the header and footer and any other elements as smart objects so let's say hypothetically I'm just gonna you uh, make a Mickey Mouse um, pretend website. So in this pretend website, I'm gonna have the header here, and I'm gonna have logo here. <laughs> it's just gonna say logo. And then maybe have the menu here, menu one, or Actually, there should be menu item one and two, but it uh, doesn't really matter in this uh, <laughs> in this situation. So I'm going to copy these a couple times. So here is the make believe menu, right? And we are going to put this in the folder called header. And then I'm going to have the content area. So I'm going to go to Google and go to the Lorem Ipsum generator and copy this Lorem Ipsum here, paste it here. Oops. So essentially now I have a fake website. Well, let me add a footer as well. So just for organization purposes, I'm gonna call this content. And then I'm gonna create another layer or another folder and call this footer. And for the footer, it's just gonna be basically like the header. And of course, none of the margins actually align up or at least I don't think they do. And I'm going to Create a new layer here and paste this in the footer. Oops. Copy. Let's uh, maybe make this two font sizes smaller. Or so let's say this is the uh, fake website, right? Uh, what we want to do is we want to now save this, and I'm going to on the desktop just create a new folder and I'm going to just call this uh, demo 
and I'm going to call this maybe home page. Now what I want to do here is right click and then create convert to smart object. Same with the footer. So the only difference now here is I'm going to export contents. And usually I put an underscore in the front just because then it kind of forces it as far as because most of the time uh, when you open the file managers, um, it's sorted by name. So if you put underscore or any kind of special character, it kind of automatically moves those to the front. So that's why I put an underscore, uh, but you don't have to. Uh, and export content for the footer. And so now if I, let's say, want to create an, another page and I save this as, and let me save this first. Uh, and then save as. Maybe call this page about. And then uh, maybe the difference in the about page is that uh, the content stretches all the way across and we don't have a, uh, a uh, picture. And maybe in about, about us. So here is the our about page now. And maybe I want to say uh, create a contact page. And same thing, contact. And maybe for the contact page, I just have a email at info at blah, blah, blah.com. And so this is my uh, contact page essentially. So now what happens if I, uh, let's say the client wants to, the client says, Hey, we want to add some social media icons to uh, to the uh, to the footer, and we also want to change the menu from saying one two one two one two into just one two three five six. So let's say that that's the request from the client. Well, now what I can do is just open the home page, and I can just double click on here. You can actually also open uh, this if you want, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to show you two ways of doing that. So for the purpose of this, I'm going to then change three, four, five, six. So now if I save it and I close this, it's going to reflect on the home page. Keep in mind, it will not reflect on the other pages. For you to reflect on the other pages, you need to then go to um, export content and then save this as the header. And now what you, uh, so now instead of having to do that process all over again for each of these pages, uh, you can just right click, replace content, header, bam. Right click, replace contents, header, bam. So the so that's one way is you can just open one of the layers, uh, make it or one of the uh, pages, make the changes, uh, and then re-export the uh, small object, and then um, uh, replace it with that. Or the other way is you can just open the small object directly. Let's say the footer. Um, so I'm going to make changes to three, four, five, and six. So let's say I want to move this maybe over here, and then I want to add these social media icons. Um, so maybe Facebook and Twitter. And I have this nice font called Socialico that just yeah, makes these nice social media icons here. And I can add some spacing here. Maybe. Hmm. Here we go. So let's say that that's what's added. And maybe actually I want to move this to the center and add a copyright uh, tag. Um, so to get that, I can just go to the clipboard and change the font to maybe something like Arial. Oops. And then copyright. Oops. Copyright. 2014. Blah, blah. 
So this is my uh, fake footer. So I can just save this smart object now, close it. And again, it's not going to automatically update the layers. You have to go back to, uh, to, the, um, to those pages and click on replace content. And so if I replace content, bam. Replace content, bam. Place contents. Bam. So, as you can see, as especially if you have, uh, if you end up making a lot of changes to the footer or to the header, or it doesn't even have to be that. It could be even be a, a, a form that's on every page, or maybe just a call to action uh, area on every page. That's the same thing, uh, or a series of logos, whatever it is uh, that just repeats across uh, more than a couple pages. Using smart objects is a very, uh, or external smart objects is a very efficient way to do that. And it's very similar if you uh, do a little bit of, uh, uh, are familiar with PHP encoding. Um, basically what we're doing is, is we're set isolating the header and footer into separate files and we're including in, except this is the Photoshop version of that. So hopefully you found this helpful and, and hopefully it's gonna help your efficiency. Uh, and affecting this when you're uh, dealing with um, a lot of, of website comps or, or anything that has uh, patterns uh, and you can use the external smart objects. So hopefully you um, enjoy this video and if you uh, found it helpful or you liked it, please uh, make sure you, you like the video uh, here on YouTube <laughs> and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel um, and also go to my blog yanshankwen.com. I have a ton of other videos there uh, that you'll probably like and also have a lot of really interesting cool news that you will also probably like and uh, uh, make sure you follow me on uh, on social media Facebook Twitter Pinterest Instagram uh, not Pinterest um, Google Plus Instagram but um, and also feel free to subscribe to my mailing list other than that uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, thank you for subscribing